Yo, what's going on and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today we're finally going to do the test run of Yan Fei. We're also going to review her abilities. So we're going to start with the review phase and this is kind of like a precursor to us probably summoning her in the next one, assuming that we get lucky enough. But let's go ahead and start with her talents. Now Yan Fei is a pyro catalyst user. So kind of similar to Klee, although Klee is very unique in how her bombs work. They kind of like are different from every other character in the game because they have like an arcing attack. So it's a little bit different, but we'll go ahead and start with her auto attack. Now, what you need to know about her auto attack is that as she hits enemies, she generates these scarlet seals and she can have a maximum of three of them and while she has the scarlet seals her stamina consumption is decreased for, depending on how many scarlet seals she has each one decreases her stamina consumption by 15 percent now when we move on to her charge attack her charge attack is going to be an aoe pyro damage effect and it is going to consume all of her scarlet seals now it's also going to increase the damage of her charge attack based on how many scarlet seals you're consuming and the more scarlet seals you're consuming the less stamina your charge attack is going to cost because they're reducing if you have all three then you're reducing your stamina cost by 45 percent so your charge attack is also costing you less now when we move on to her first ability her elemental skill is called signed edict and this is going to be like an aoe pyro damage but the important part is it's instantly going to grant you maximum Scarlet Seals. So I think the idea here is that you're going to auto attack to stack up all of your seals. You're going to charge attack and then you're going to immediately elemental skill and then charge attack again. So you get two enhanced charge attacks in a row and this is going to combine really well with a lot of her other abilities. So when we move on to her third ability, it is another AOE pyro damage effect, but this, the main purpose of this is to grant her, um, it also grants maximum Scarlet Seals, I guess, but it applies a brilliance to her. Now brilliance is an effect that's going to make her gain Scarlet Seals over time. And I believe this thing lasts for 15 seconds. So, at a fixed interval, I'm not sure it says what the fixed interval is. Oh, it appears to be one second. So every one second, you will get one Scarlet Seal. And the other effect is that your uh, charge attack damage is going to be increased. So you can kind of see how you want to combine all of these abilities and just spam as many charge attacks as you can, but you want them to be enhanced by seals to make them, first of all, cost less stamina, and be more powerful plus some of her later passives are going to further enhance that so you could see your combo being uh, auto attack a few times till you have three scarlet seals instantly charge attack then you maybe proc done deal first instantly get all of your scarlet seals back then you charge attack then you instantly use signed edict and that's going to give all of your scarlet seals back again then you will use your charge attack again and then over the course of done deal you'll probably be auto attacking and uh using signed edicts to accrue scarlet seals and then once you've accrued uh three scarlet seals you're probably charge attacking or you might charge attack before that just depending but your main mechanic appears to be your charge attack with this character now when we look at her first talent it's going to make it so uh, when she consumes Scarlet Seals, she's going to increase her Pyro bonus damage by 5% for each Scarlet Seal consumed. Uh, this effect is only going to last for 6 seconds, and if you charge attack again consuming Scarlet Seals, it's going to reset it, or like it's going to get rid of the old one and apply a new one instead. So say you charge attack with 3 Scarlet Seals, then you have a 15% Pyro bonus damage, and then you charge attack again with only two Scarlet Seals, you lose that 15% and you instead gain a 10%. So you want to be consistently charge attacking under this 15% uh, bonus pyro damage and just getting another 15% bonus pyro damage every time if at all possible. Now when we look at her last passive talent, when Yanfei's charge attack deals a critical hit, 
Uh, she will deal an additional instance of AoE pyro damage equal to 80% of her attack. This damage counts as charge attack damage. So anything that increases charge attack damage like Wanderer's Troop is going to increase this proc of damage. And this is going to make a uh, crit very valuable on Yanfei because if she charge attacks and it crits, she gets 80% more damage, which is really good. Now her like little world passive talent is kind of like the contradiction to Klee. It's going to show you unique resources in Liyue. Instead, uh, Klee shows you unique resources in Mondstadt. Now, when we move on to her constellations, nothing too crazy in here, but you kind of get like the idea. Um, her first constellation, each uh, Scarlet Seal is going to reduce the stamina cost of a charge attack by an extra 10%. And she's going to get uh, increased resistance against uh, interruption. So the more Scarlet Seals that you have, even further, your charge attack is going to cost you less stamina. But you're also going to have some um, resistance to interruption while using your charge attack. Which can be valuable, just kind of depends if you're like bracing for an impact, then you might use this. And obviously the more Scarlet Seals you're using, the more resistance you'll have to the hit. So her next uh, constellation, it's going to increase her charge attack crit rate by 20% against enemies below 50% HP. Um, as we talked about earlier, you want her charge attacks to crit because uh, you get an extra damage effect. So this can be useful. I don't know how good it actually is on small enemies. You probably won't notice because the small enemy will probably die to the first charge attack while they're above 50% HP, but bigger enemies like bosses and stuff, you'll probably notice this once you get their health below 50%. Now here is Signed Edict up three levels. Uh, Constellation 4 is kind of interesting because it adds a shield to her kit, which she doesn't previously have, and whenever you use your elemental burst, you're going to get a shield that absorbs up to 45% of Yanfei's max HP, and the shield is going to last 15%, and it's a pyro damage shield, so it's more effective against pyro. And Constellation 5 is going to upgrade done deal, and then finally Constellation 6, Nothing super special, but it's just going to increase the maximum number of Scarlet Seals by one. So instead of three, now all of a sudden you can have four, which is, it kind of synergizes with everything, right? Like if you can have four, that means Blaze, uh, not Blazing Eye, uh, Proviso. Is that how you're supposed to say that? I don't know that word. Um, but this, all of a sudden your Pyro bonus damage can now go to 20% instead of the previously capped 15%. Um, but it is going to take you a little bit more time to actually build up those seals, which is why using Signed Edict and Done Deal to instantly get max seals is going to be really important. But now let's go ahead and try out um, Yanfei. I haven't tried her yet, but I think that I am likely to summon for her. But we'll go ahead and give her a try. Oh. You can't move. If you move in between her first auto attack, she does like a step sometimes. I don't know, it seems inconsistent. So this is her auto attack uh, string, and there you saw her charge attack. It's like a stamp. And you can see the zero on her. The zero shows uh, how many Scarlet Seals I am consuming with the charge attack. Since I can't gain any Scarlet Seals right now, uh, it's going to be zero. But let's go ahead and gain some Scarlet Seals. So you can see we have the little seals floating around us. And when we charge attack, we see a little number three. And it's a big AoE. Gets us a lot of energy. Now, let's go ahead and use... Uh, which one was that? Was that Signed Edict? It's kind of just like a basic AoE. Nothing too special. But it gives us instantly uh, upgraded charge attack from three seals. And now let's try our Elemental Burst. So we get three seals. Then we can instantly do that. Another charge attack with three seals. And we're getting a lot of energy. Um, I'm not sure if that is always going to work like that. It's It seems like every time we do something like this, we always are getting a lot of energy. But actually, she seems pretty crazy. Like, we did a, a lot. Granted, some of those were like uh, basic enemies and we're proccing overloads and uh, melts with the slimes that they're giving us. So she definitely seems cooler than she likely is just based on the enemies that we were fighting. But overall, I think that, oh, I didn't mean to exit. Dang it. <laughs> we'll go back in real quick. Um, I wanna do another round. Overall, I think she is a really 
a fun character to use. Any character that kind of plays differently and uses uh, a different... Because, like, she uses charge attacks, uh, which you don't... you Like, her idea is that you want to spam the charge attack as much as possible. When you're playing someone like Klee, you could throw in the charge attack, but you also, like, want to cancel charge attacks with Klee. Klee's a little bit confusing. But... A lot of mages, I feel like you don't use the charge attack too much. Like, Sucrose is a pretty popular mage, but her uh, charge attack is kind of just not useful. Or you don't really use it because it's kind of like a pushback. But it doesn't serve a big purpose. But I do like, like, her abilities just feel fun to use. And since the charge attack kind of seems to track... Like, let's try. If I just use it like this, does it have, like, a max distance? So it has, it appears to have, like, a max. Actually, it's got a really good distance on it. Look at that. Like, it auto-tracks, and it's got a really good distance. So even if you're not facing someone, you can easily get, like, that long-range hit. And you saw that even if we get, like, close to them and let them touch us, the charge attack still hits them. So the charge attack is actually really nice, being a big AoE, and the fact that it's going to like lock on to someone, it's going to almost ensure that it always hits. So I actually think this character is really interesting and fun. Let's take a look at what they actually gave her to use. Uh, obviously the crit rate. Um, did we see that proc? I, I didn't notice it, but I'm sure it probably happened, because we probably crit sometimes. Um... And then obviously Crimson Witch of Flames here. So she's rocking at the moment 46%. But if we do a three, a three Scarlet Seal um, charge attack, then we're at 61% already. And obviously you can get this. Oh, does she have 20? She has plus 20 artifacts. That's, is that new? Did they have that in the last uh, character? I know previously they used to only do plus 18 artifacts. But with plus 20, you got the as much pyro damage as you're going to get out of a cup. Um, although, isn't the 15% not? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She should have more than that. She has 111%. Is her stat? Um, I can't. You can't look. But her uh, her class stat must be pyro bonus damage, because there's no way that she's getting to 111 uh, percent with just a cup at 46 percent and the set bonus at 15 percent. There's just no way, right? So like Klee, she must have uh, pyro bonus damage as her class skill. And then how well is this second? effect working for it's going to increase burning and overload which is great increases vaporize and melt yep yeah. using elemental skill increases the two-piece set by 50 percent and so this can stack um three times what is the cooldown on her skill the cooldown's nine seconds so as long as you're using it on cooldown you can continuously stack um that Crimson Witch of Flames set. So I would recommend using uh, Signed Edict as much as possible if you're running Crimson Witch of Flames because um, obviously how this works is uh, Crimson Witch of Flames at base gives you 15% pyro bonus damage. If you use an elemental skill for the next 10 seconds, you have 22.5% uh, pyro bonus damage. If you use another one within those 10 seconds, then you have 30%. And if you use a third one within that 10 seconds, then you have a 37.5% bonus pyro damage. So you're getting an extra 22% pyro damage if you are constantly using your signed edict on cooldown. So I would recommend actually just spamming it because uh, not only is it going to give you maximum seals every time you press it, uh, and it's going to make your charge attacks better, but it's also going to give you permanent pyro bonus damage. So the fact that that works a little bit better, Klee's problem with this is her elemental skill is a 12 second cooldown, but the bonus that she has is she has two stacks of her elemental skill. So if you use it wisely enough, 
you can get three stacks with Klee just because she's got the two um, she's got the two uses. So if you cycle them correctly, then you can make sure the third one's up um, before this buff actually runs out. But Klee can't permanently keep this up, while someone like Yanfei can permanently keep it up because her cooldown is less than 10 seconds. But anyways, that is pretty much Yanfei in a nutshell. I actually, like, she felt really fun to use. I like her charge attack. It feels really nice, and the fact that you don't have to really worry about it missing. Klee's uh, charge attack, like, it doesn't lock on to people. It's always right in front of her, like a circle in front of her feet. Granted, it's a big circle, but it doesn't lock on to enemies like this one did, and it felt really satisfying to be able to, like, run in the opposite direction and then charge attack and still make sure that I hit every single time. It just felt easy and good to use. And I liked her abilities. They were all like quick and although they didn't seem too awfully flashy, they kind of like got done what they were supposed to. Her elemental burst gives her that buff and the elemental skill you just use to increase her pyro bonus damage as well as give her full uh, scarlet seals. But anyways, that has been Yan Fei. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.